hey welcome back to the fourth tutorial on database management now in the last tutorial you saw we created these columns the contact and email columns now what you are going to be doing we are going to drop the contacts and email so by dropping we are like we are going to delete this and this so your boss is like uh you know we no longer need these two columns no what have i placed now hey what have i placed we don't need to export anything so your boss is like you want to drop the contact column and the email column so what you have to do is go to your sql menu now to do this you say alter table give the name of the table alter table that citizens and we say drop we want to drop the contacts and put some comma and email so this is what we want to drop you see alter oh we have to drop one so you do it by one contacts at a debo let me copy this because we want to drop two columns at a table and we want to drop email so by doing this you are telling your database that hey i want to delete this column for contact and the column for email when you're done place go and they say hey do you want to really execute these commands you say okay if at all and they will show you they have all been dropped and when you are to check our database boom the contact and email column have been dropped from our database so that's how you can drop columns from your database or delete the unwanted stuff you don't want in your database now i want to show you this let me say your boss tells you that like hey can you get me users ranging from 5 to 10 so these users between 5 and 10 so those are the users they want what you have to do is go to your area where you execute your queries from and you write select select id so select id comma first name comma last name so these are the users we want select id first name com id first name last name and you say from citizens id and you say id between said 5 and 10 so I seeing how simple it is so where is the error so citizens where ID where ID between 5 and 10 so this is the range we want we need users ranging from 5 to 10 so this is how you write that command and place go and see they will bring you users arranging from 5 to 10 so that's how you can filter and set the maximum point where you want to view the user so this is how you write it select id first name last name from citizens where id between 5 to 10 so you can run this query in different areas let's say we need users ranging from 1 to 6 and place go and they will bring users ranging from 1 to 6 so that's how you can set the limit or range where you want users to be good i guess that's it for this now next i want to show you how you can let me see delete some users from the database let's say we don't want this 13 users to be in our database 
you go to the SQL command and say and you say delete from citizen where ID equals so we want to delete the person with the ID of 13 so delete from citizens where ID equals 13 when you press go and they ask you do you really want to execute this place okay and they say one row affected go back and see if that user is really deleted from the database boom so we have deleted the user from the database so that's how you delete your users from the database whenever you want to do so so thanks for watching guys i guess this will do it for this tutorial i'll see you in the next tutorial